Hi everyone, this is Fred Bravo with Alpha Bravo Tech. Uh, today we have an iPhone 6S Plus. Um, I was trying to check uh, for shorts in continuity mode on different power rails. Couldn't find any. Uh, for now, uh, this phone is taking almost absolutely nothing. 0 0.005 amps. Um, so, I was checking the battery rail and uh, nothing was going on there. But then when I inject power, uh, I've got it set for uh, 3.8 volts and 1 amp. Uh, let's see. Let's go this, this way. So when I inject, uh, it goes down to 2 volts and it takes the full amp. So it seems like there's a little something going on there. What do we got here? So, uh, let's see, let's fix that. Okay. So, yeah, let's inject voltage and uh, see if we can find anything getting hot on this thing. Uh, I was trying to inject voltage with the, uh, with the probes, and, uh, well, it's just kind of hard to hold them there, so we're going to solder uh, a couple things on. Um... So I tin that. You guys missed it. Sorry about that. We'll go. We'll go there. And we'll try and keep that away from ground. Shouldn't be too hard to do that. Uh, the whole thing's enamel coated, obviously, but uh, right there, I think we have a little little area tinned that shouldn't be. Uh, touching anything we just don't want it to to touch this alright so let's go ahead and connect this end to, uh, to our power supply Actually, let's go ahead and peel off the sticker first. So, let me throw a little bit of heat on that. Just whatever you want to do to heat it up. I got 340 degrees Celsius with a 90 liter per minute airflow on it, but. Uh, you know, you don't need that much heat. You don't need any heat. You just take it off. But I like using it. See how much easier that is? Alright, so let's inspect the area. Um, thinking it's going to be something in there. This looks a little discolored, uh, but not too bad. <clears throat> Nothing looks really terrible. So, let's go ahead and... Connect what we need to connect. Let's 
Let's get our let's get our thermal camera. So let's connect to ground and let's make sure that um, that tinned part is not touching anything. Move that back a little bit. Okay. See how this looks. <clears throat> Those look like uh, it did get hot there. Let's see. So it looks like maybe there. It actually looks like the one that looked a little messed up. Okay, let's do this. Let's get some, uh, oops. Let's get some free spray. And, um, we'll look at it under the microscope. See if we can single that out. It's kind of hard to tell on thermal camera. Alright, we're back. I'm just going to use, uh, duster upside down just regular uh, cleaning duster from office depot so let's go under the microscope we'll uh, look there in that area okay we're gonna spray it upside down then we're gonna blow on it Okay, let's go into the microscope and let's apply, oops, let's apply the power. Oh, saw that? I saw that right away. Let's do it one more time. Get it nice and frosty. And then we will apply the power. Look at that, saw that? That chip too. Oh. That chip there. Let me add a little more juice. Okay. We're definitely uh, seeing something there on uh, on that one. I believe it's a cap. Let's find out. There you go, 5507, which is, uh, let's find out, uh, 6S, okay, oh yeah, hold on. Okay. 
Okay. And let's check it with our multimeter. Make sure we're uh, getting our 10 microfarads. About 11 microfarads, so that's good. It's good, it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Let's get that one off. Okay, it's off, and if we want to test it, we can test it. Fluctuated a little bit, but now it's at, uh, It's just fluctuating all over the place, and now it's uh, oh well. So, okay, let's get rid of that one. Okay, and uh, let's tune up these pads a little bit. <clears throat> Add a little flux. <clears throat> solder to the tip here okay let's turn this remember soldering is about being comfortable okay Gotta put a little bit extra here. I don't know if those are uh, those all connected there. Let's uh, let's go back to this this phone. Was it the uh, fifty five oh seven? No, this was the. So this was the six S plus. And those two, this side is all connected. That's all ground, so no big deal there if that side connects. The other. <clears throat> <clears throat> you get a picture of this stuff man So let's see. Little peak there is a little high, but it doesn't matter. Okay, I think I'm going to drop it like that. A little flux. <clears throat> It'll go down in place. Doesn't matter if those those are touching, so that's that's all good right there, just like that. Because you can tell this is touching here, and this is definitely combined here. But uh, like I was saying, all this side is ground, so I mean, all these could touch if we wanted to. 
these two are connected together already so so yeah so that's good there and I see our little uh, jumper wire came off so we're being a little rough with it so let's put that back on so we can properly test okay it is back on and we will connect power and see what kind of uh, voltage and amperage we're taking so we're just going to put this here and 3.8 volts and zero amps so that should be good looks like our short is gone um, so we'll put this phone back together and uh, and show that it's working and taking voltage and everything. What was that even on? That was on PP Speaker V Boost. Plug it up. <clears throat> and uh, we get 0.899, it looks like. 0.9 amps. I'm not seeing anything on the screen. I don't know what's going on there. It's because I haven't minimized. There we go. So we get one amp. Uh, Nothing on the screen. Roger, why don't we have anything on the screen? Did I not plug this thing in correctly? Yeah, it, it didn't snap in good. I know that. I, I thought it snapped in enough, but... Yeah, I think that's what it is. I mean, if not, we'll put a new screen, but... I mean, I felt it snap this time. Both times. All right, so let's plug it in and see what happens. Getting 0.9 volts, and we got a working phone. So it came in, nothing. I think I had 0 0.005 amp draw. Uh, but, you know. Looks like it's back to life. So yeah, it's uh, pretty awesome. Um, anyways, so this was Fred Bravo with Alpha Bravo Tech doing a uh, phone repair on an iPhone 6S Plus. Um, turned out to be a bad capacitor on a PP speaker V-Boost circuit. So uh, change that out. Got it going. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel to, uh, you know, Check out my future videos. Uh, everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching.